I am the Edison Phonograph. The more you become acquainted with me, the better you will like me. Ask the dealer. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Recordology. Okay. Two in a row, guys. Two record player reviews in a row. This week, we are taking a look, um, one of the first looks, if not the first look, at the all-new Clear Click Vintage Suitcase Turntable. Now, I've never um, reviewed or seen or heard and know very little about Clear Click. I think they're pretty new. Um, this is one of a couple turntables they have available. Uh, I know you can get it on Amazon. Um, I believe possibly a couple other places as well. Um, this is the model VT31. Um, initially, I was drawn to them because they have a really cool looking um, hat box turntable. And, um, but this is actually the latest and greatest, um, this uh, vintage style suitcase turntable. Wood exterior, plays three speeds, Bluetooth, aux input. Um, converts old vinyl to uh, MP3. It's got uh, audio software built in. It looks so cool, you guys. I just totally think we need to dig into this and see what we got. Um, it's got a five-year warranty. Uh, looks to be a really cool unit. So again, this is completely new um, to me and I think fairly new in general. So let's go ahead and see what we got. I like the packaging, a big shiny box. And uh, let's go ahead and see what we got here. And we'll test everything out too. So there it is. It just looks like a vintage steamer trunk. Like so cool looking. Oh, I love it. It looks cool. <laughs> you know, this takes a suitcase turntable to the next level. Um, so you got these uh, styrofoam corners in here. Let me make sure you guys can see that all right. Yeah, okay, you guys can see that. Right. Um, take these guys out of the way. Pull the turntable out. All right, now, in the box, we've got the rest of the styrofoam and some software and instructions. Let's take a look and see what those are. So, uh, in here, we've got a USB cable. So, um, that's for, you know, doing the uh, recording from vinyl uh, through the USB to the computer. It's got audio recording software built in. I'm assuming that it's got... Um, Audacity, um, which is pretty common. It's a great software to use. And then this is the manual as well, which, like I told you before, I definitely want to read that. Um, however, I'm going to see what I can figure out without reading it. Okay, let's take a look at this thing visually, first of all. Um, wow, it's just so cool looking. Very vintage. Um, uh, leather, it's got, I don't know if that's real leather or not. It feels like real thick vintage leather handle. Um, wood around the edges, the speaker there, kind of in this like uh, bronze kind of looking stuff. Um, this cool pattern here, it's like a, feels like a leatherite or a leather type of a pattern there. And uh, again, just super, super cool. There's another variant of this with a different color um, pattern on it, but I, I like this darker one, I think that's cool. And these dark kind of uh, brass button, uh, things along the side. So yeah, two speakers on the side. On the back, uh, clear click, and then we've got USB, our power supply, and an aux out. And I think there's even a film. Yeah, look at that. I love it when they do it. There's a little film to protect the finish of that panel. Oh, it looks so cool. All right, guys. It's fairly, I wouldn't say lightweight, but you can, it's not super heavy. It's not Scary, lightweight, it's just uh, feels like you'd expect it to. Um, it's got these latches here. These are really cool. Take a look at that. Let's see if we can get a better shot of that. So, I'm gonna try it. doing all this with one hand is an amazing thing. So this latch goes through that hole there, which is cool. Yeah, so let's go ahead and open it up. See what we got. Refocus now that we're back on the table. All right, and these unbutton here, and they've got a buckle there too. Isn't that cool? That is just the coolest looking thing. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay, so we've got the hinge piece there, um, which is interesting. It's on the right instead of the left. And uh, yeah, there we go. It's a beautiful looking unit. Um, as far as uh, materials to keep it safe during transit, we have the uh, twisty tie here to keep the tone arm. 
where it's supposed to be, which is good. And then the typical um, stylus protector. So we'll take that off. A little bit of packing materials, little pieces of glue here and there. And there it is, Clear Click, which I think is a cool name. I think that's, uh, that's unique. And again, this is all so new. I mean, to me, this is, I've never seen anything like this. It's, it's not even comparable to other suitcase players because it's not like all those other suitcase players. Um, definitely wood. I mean, this is, you know, wood pieces. I mean, there's wood blocking, there's wood veneer, there's wood paneling. Um, solid, some of this looks like solid wood. I mean, it's just, just crazy. And a lot of times when you hear wood, it's just, you know, veneer over a particle board. But this actually looks like wood paneling. Let me show this up close and see what we got here so you can kind of see the let me zoom in closer. So you see that wood paneling and trim and those elements there and then the back? I mean, that's real wood. That is so cool. Looks like our 45 spacer popped loose during transit, which is understandable. We'll put that back on the spindle there. And I think besides that, we're ready to go. Um, so let me go ahead and plug it in. Got our power supply was wrapped up in the plastic sheet. And... Man, guys, this is super cool. And what, you know, when I was looking at this, I'm like, you know, we have to play some vintage music on this thing. We haven't played 78s in a little while. So this thing, we need to play 78s on it, for sure. So I found this an old big band 78. All right, so I've got the twisty tie here. Off of the power supply, plugging it in here. And I'm going to plug it in the back. And we should be good to go. So let's start by playing uh, 45. So I'll take this back out. Ooh, I love how that flashes blue. Um, so right up here, there is um, a function selector. So Bluetooth, BT for Bluetooth, line input, and there's a line input jack right there. Um, and then phono, which is going to be uh, obviously the phonograph. So we'll put it to phono. Um, the speed selector switch is right here, um, which is again, Pretty typical. Let me get close up to this again so you can see it, uh, where all the controls and everything are. So we can get good focus there. Come on. Okay. So yeah, you can see there the speed selector switch, the auto stop, auto start, cueing lever, all that good stuff. Um, well, it, I'm really glad to see that there's a cueing lever on there. Some of these uh, suitcase players don't have that. This one does, and that's good. The auto start just means whether or not when you move the stylus across to the turntable if it automatically starts, which I like it too, there's no reason not to. Put a record on there, Reprise Records, Frank Sinatra's record label. Let's go ahead and give ourselves a little copyright friendly sample. Cueing lever mechanism, this is different you guys, this is not the same uh, cueing mechanism uh, like for instance I see on the Victrolas or the Crosleys. Uh, this is altogether a different uh, cueing mechanism, it seems very different to me. This record is a bit dirty, so forgive me. Let's go ahead and drop it down there and give ourselves a listen. Oops. And there's a power switch. So it's turn to the left to go off, to the right to go on. And there we go. Volume. We're on the wrong speed. There we go, 45 RPM. Gotta have you near all the time. Wow, it's got a lot of punch. I only have that thing up maybe a third of the way, and that's filling a big room pretty easily. Be a part of your soul and of your heart all the time. And obviously this is stereo, one speaker on each side, and I'm really impressed with the stereo imaging on it. When you stand in the middle, you really get that feeling of stereo. Again, hard to hear, you know, on a YouTube video. But take, take my word for it, there is good stereo imaging. Some of the stuff actually. Um, but yeah, it sounds good. We're gonna keep listening to it here to see what else see what else we got here. So lifting the cueing lever, stylus goes off, and we're gonna drop it back into the rest. Interesting, the uh, cradle for the stylus doesn't have like a little piece of plastic on the back. Um, or some of those that you like slide it back um, and it catches it. This one you kind of have to line it up. So make sure you line it up. We'll take our 45 off of there for now. 
Uh, take our spacer off and put it where it needs to be. And now, I want to try out a 78. Sweet Eloise by Glenn Miller is Orchestra. You guys know I always do this for these demos. I have to play some Glenn Miller. Okay, so we're going flip it to flip it to 78 RPM. Um, now, a word on playing uh, 78s on a micro groove stylus. So a 78 RPM groove is wider. It's a 3 mil groove versus a 1 mil groove on our LP or you know a 33 or 45, a micro groove. So these have a wider groove. Therefore, um, ideally, you would play it with a different stylus. However, it's inconvenient and unnecessary to switch the stylus out. It will not damage the stylus or the record to play the micro groove one mil stylus on a three mil record. What it will do is it'll be a little bit more noisy because the, if the groove is like this wide and the stylus is like this, rather than filling, let's say this is a, a wider groove, instead of filling that groove and riding all the edges of it, it's gonna be a little bit more pointed and riding in the middle of that. It'll still get the vibrations, but they'll pick up a lot more noise because it's more centralized to the middle of the bottom of that groove. Okay, let's go ahead and give it a listen. This is a 78 RPM record. Look at how gently it lowers it. That's good. Good, good, good. Sweet Eloise. It's a pretty worn out record. Hear that noise? It's because of the stylus. Still very, you know, it's got a lot of volume. A lot of punch, very full range. These speakers sound really good. I mean, they're a very full range speaker. Definitely, definitely better than other suitcase turntables that I've seen out there in terms of the speaker quality. And this is bigger too, which I like that. So yeah, there's a 78. Again, I can't play too much, guys, because of the copyright. Even the old 78s, a lot of them are still copyrighted. So uh, if I go more than 15 seconds on the songs, then I get pinged for that, and I don't want that to happen. But I want to give a little sample, you know, of every of every format here, as much as we can do. Next, we're going to play an LP. This will be the most common that you know you'll probably be playing on these. This is a this picture disc, Cinderella, Walt Disney. So definitely got to be careful on this one in terms of um, copyright. But it looks so cool. I mean, how can you not? How can you not want to play that, right? So, let me find the hole there, or the spindle. Putting it back to 33 RPM, raising it up, and sliding the stylus over the tone arm. And let's give this a listen. Looks so awesome on that. Let me just interrupt there to give ourselves a break in the, in the music playing um, for copyright reasons again. Um, this thing, from what I can tell so far, it's got good sound. Um, it has upgraded components from a lot of the uh, affordable, especially suitcase turntables out there. I definitely feel like this is an upgrade. The exterior workmanship is an increase in quality um, from a lot of the veneered uh, products that are out there. Uh, I mean, this is real wood. Like I said, this is real wood. Um, you know, there's veneer elements to it as well, but there, uh, this is actually glued wood pieces and versus just sawdust packed together and then covered with a sticker, which is essentially what a veneer is. Um, this is uh, definitely a quality product. Styling-wise, I think this takes the cake. I mean, this is a cool-looking turntable. You can't beat it in terms of that. I mean, it's... Nothing looks as good as this uh, when it comes to these suitcase players. In fact, even a lot of the non-suitcase players and all-in-one units, um, this is probably the most vintage-looking one that I can, you know, think of. I mean, this is just super, super cool. Very unique and very much something that I'd love to have in the house. Uh, it would look cool in any room, but it just screams vintage, um, you know, antique. It looks like a steamer trunk, you know, something right off the boat. It's just so cool. Let's give another little listen here. So the sound quality, is, it's very bright, so it's very accurate high end. Um, they are full range speakers, so you're gonna get some low end as well. Um, if you really want to, you know, maximize the potential of the uh, sound quality from the record, 
you're going to want to connect this to an amplifier, uh, external sound system. Um, these speakers um, are good for you know small speakers, but they still are small speakers. So you're going to want to connect that with those jacks that we showed you in the back. Um, this is a uh, belt-driven turntable, which is good because it isolates the motor noise from the platter, and therefore isolates it from uh, the stylus and the pickup. Uh, so you won't get as much of that low vibrating hum uh, that sometimes you get with the direct drive turntables. Um, this is a, uh, a good unit. I think this will work really, really well for you. Um, it's something that I would definitely uh, consider. It's got a good price point. It's very competitive. I think it's going to do very well this holiday season. Um, you know, you're definitely not going to be one of the trillions of people with a, you know, clone looking uh, suitcase player on the block uh, if you get this. It's very unique, um, so I would definitely recommend this. It's really cool. I look forward to, you know, testing it out some more for sure. Now, let's go ahead and uh, test out one more capability. I'm not going to test out the line input, uh, but I do want to make sure you put the latch on there. I do want to test out the Bluetooth. So turn the selective switch back to Bluetooth mode. Uh, you can see the blue light flashing there. I'm going to go on my iPhone here and turn on Bluetooth really quickly and see how quickly we can connect and see how it behaves when it connects. Um, so it's searching for new devices and vintage turntable is what it comes up as. So we're connecting to that. Look at that, hear that little chirp? So that connected really quick. That was a real quick connection. And let's go ahead and play some music on there as well. So what do we want to play? What's something that I haven't played recently? Bear with me here, guys. I want to play something vintage because it just, it screams for vintage. I mean, this is something that you need to be playing, you know, old school music on. So here we go. We are going to be listening to The Little Man Who Wasn't There. So let's give this a listen. Go ahead, Miller. I'm streaming from my phone to this wirelessly. Alex, what you say? Are you whistling in the dark just to shake the ghost away? I know there's something calling me that I can't see. Someone sure laid an awful hex on me. A hex? A hex. That's pretty far fetched. Man, I think you're just a little bit tense. You've got a load of what I saw last night. You're a fast Yankee liver on a tomato flag. Okay, guys, that's a remix of that song. It sounds fast. Um, so again, I don't want to play too much. I don't want to uh, have any copyright issues, but bright, clear, full range, you know, some good bass in there, very good high end, incredible styling. Um, I love these little brass or metal, you know, elements. You know, they're probably not real brass, but brass looking, leather straps. That really feels like real leather, guys. I kind of think it might be. If that's a faux leather, it's a really, really good faux leather. And uh, just super cool. That's just gonna look awesome. You know, awesome accent from a styling perspective and uh, good sound quality as well, guys. All right, that's it. That is the Clear Click uh, Vintage Suitcase Style Turntable, three speeds, Bluetooth, all that jazz, stereo speakers, um, and uh, something that I think that you're really, really going to enjoy. Something new, something different, which is cool to see. Uh, I like to see the Clear Click is step stepping out and doing something new and unique. All right, guys, let me know what you thought about that in the comments. Uh, if you have one as well, um, if you beat me to the punch in getting one, they're pretty new. Uh, but let me know what you think. Uh, definitely something to consider. Uh, if you haven't bought a turntable yet, this would be a good one to start with because, you know, it gives you the three speeds. It gives you Bluetooth connectivity. It's going to be small enough that you can, you know, have it in an apartment or a home, uh, whatever you want to do. It'd be a good bedroom player um, or your main player if that's... Uh, if that's where you're at, and I think that's an awesome thing. So, all right, thank you so much for watching. Please hit subscribe, share this with your friends, and we will see you next time. Happy record. Night.